I really thought we had it, you know, the first half. I, I really thought we had it this game, God's sake. So I watched uh, Reading versus Portsmouth and yeah, going to this game, we thought absolutely we'll be smacked 4-0. You know, it'll be another massive defeat for Reading. Um, but long and behold, we, we start the game in a good fashion. I don't know how we competed. Uh, Portsmouth did look deadly from the off, um, but we managed to get our first goal. And then we got another straight after, basically. Um, yeah, obviously a bunch of protest things throughout that. Could have helped, could have not. It's hard to tell. Didn't really impact the game much at all. Just stopped it a bunch. But it's not all happy news, is it really? Because uh, just before the end of the second half, I've got to say, just before I say what happened, this referee was something else. I had some agenda going on or a bias. It's, yeah, it's a weird one. He didn't seem fair at all. So what happened was um, Reading seemed to be able to see out. There were eight minutes added on. And uh, yeah, the referee saw the clock be, what, 53 minutes, which is, you know, 45 plus, plus 8 is 53. So yeah, at that point, you should be burning whistle. 30 seconds later, Portsmouth score. Yeah. So you can imagine everyone's rage at that. It's, it's, it's one of those things when, obviously, if, if the time has gone and someone scores and he literally blows the whistle after that, it's like, really? Like, what was that 30 seconds added on for? What was, the, what was time wasting? What happened in this space of those eight minutes that was adding up to 30 seconds? I couldn't see anything. I couldn't recall anything. I just got no clue. It's just, it's just a joke, man. Like the EFL, whoever hires referees, terrible. Um, I said to my partner in the game, I thought, you know, <laughs> I don't think I'd be saying this, but I prefer the championship referees because th this type of shit didn't go down. I felt, you know. So, um, I mean, I could be just recently biased. I just, I just thought this League One refs every single game I go to, they just, I don't know, they're just not with it. They're not refereeing the game properly. They're, you know, letting cheap fouls just go unnoticed uh, but since Reading do them it's a yellow card it's just oh it's so strange to me but nonetheless I'm not going to sit here and blame the ref for how Reading played because uh, we did pretty well we just I don't know it's just there's fine margins of like you know if one player isn't in the right position at that one time a team like Portsmouth is going to you know, take advantage of that and of course they score, you know, and I think all three of those goals sort of came for that, where um, the likes of Nesta Guinness Walker just wasn't marking the man at the right time, um, didn't close him down quick enough and yeah, ends up being a goal and Aziz for um, Portsmouth's third goal, uh, he just didn't close down the man quick enough either and just, you know, I don't know, Aziz when he defends, it seems his go-to is to press but you know, depending on where it is on the pitch, he slows down or just does a slight jog or walk. I'm not sure what his attitude is towards defending. It's a bit odd, um, but I can understand why he came off because it wasn't necessarily adding anything to the game. He had his moments, he had his chances. Um, yeah, didn't get to take him, so same as Sam Smith coming off. It's understandable. But yeah, to uh, try and get a goal back to be free free perhaps. Um, Ruby says, did decide to make a triple substitution. Got Makara coming on and all that. Which I thought was strange, you know, I thought at that point, what, was it like 35 minutes left? Maybe 30 minutes? Uh, you would probably go for someone, someone like uh, Kevin Ishbishman, you know, a striker, Don Ballard. Uh, when they came on with like, what, I think it was 20 minutes to go, if not 15. Uh, so yeah, it's just, it's a tough one. You want those chances to happen. Um, I say at that point, really, it was all Reading. Portsmouth just, I guess they settled being in the lead by that point. Um, and really just had the ball and they were just consistently going and going and going for it. And uh, yeah, we were just, unfortunately, just managed to get the goal. Um, top saves from the Portsmouth keeper, I have to say. Um, but speaking of top saves, I have to say, David Button, Jesus Christ, lad, you're insane. Um, I know, obviously, we conceded three goals, but yeah, he did amazing. What the hell? Like, pulling out saves like that, so close range. Oh, I pulled this up, mate. It's going to be my player of the match this match. So yeah, well done, mate. <laughs> obviously, a loss, uh, it's hard to take, uh, but the performance was, was good. It was positive. Just hope um, the next game that happens was a week's time in the FA Cup, isn't it? Um, oh yeah, the early round we're entered in this time, so yeah, hopefully um, we'll be able to beat MK Dons and uh, progress in that, I guess. We'll need some sort of momentum in these wins, so hopefully that can happen. Right then, I'll ask my thoughts, and I'll see you guys next time.